Hello, I'm John Partridge. I'm the Senior Animal Curator at Bristol Zoo Gardens and I've been working here for 36 years. 2011 is our 175th anniversary and that makes us the fifth oldest zoo in the world. And so we're planning a huge amount of, of celebrations for 2011 and I'm sure that it's going to be a very exciting year. I'm actually standing in the zoo's archive and surrounded by so many memories, certainly of the time I've been here and going right back to 1836 when the zoo first started. Bristol Zoo opened its doors to the public for the very first time in July 1836, making us the fifth oldest zoo in the world. But we're making this video to simply show you and give you a glimpse of what we have behind the scenes here, um, documenting this, this history. We have 175 years of history stored safely away in our archive, and I'm surrounded by just a few glimpses of, of some of the wonderful stuff that's here. I, I've been a little bit selfish and chosen some of the things that I've remembered in the in the 36 years. Samson, the um, silverback gorilla, my first gorilla I looked after at Bristol Zoo, who was the father of the first baby gorilla born in the UK. So he's here um, showing um, a picture of a... he's carrying a, a flower that he's trying to, to woo one of his females. Orangutans were also my favourite, and Abang and Diang, two Bornean orangutans, are here in the zoo in the, in the 60s and 70s. They're here captured in a beautiful picture. The first gorilla in, in um, Europe was Alfred, and we have a wonderful picture, several good uh, images of him here. The story of the zoo goes back such a long way. We've read so many things, pioneered husbandry for polar bears, breeding the first UK uh, breeding of the black rhinoceros, only the second breeding in Europe is at Bristol Zoo, and so many, many pictures and so many stories are, are here. We have all sorts of things here. It's not just the animals, but it's the whole history of the zoo, the, the pictures of old signs telling you how, how much something might cost or where an animal enclosure is, old cutlery from the old um, restaurant here, uh, and all sorts of different bits of, uh, of souvenirs from the, from the shops and maybe even you've got some of these souvenirs at home and perhaps you'd like to share them with us because we are still collecting memorabilia from people, photographs, anything else that may relate definitely to Bristol Zoo. Um, let us know, check, check our details on the website here and uh, we will be able to um, take them. We would be very pleased to have them. We have many, many um, images and, and mementos here in the zoo all safely kept away in our archive and we realize that you might want to see some of these or we want to share a little bit of this picture with you and so we are publishing a book to celebrate 175 years of Bristol Zoo Gardens a book will be published lots of pictures in there for you to see to share some of these experiences with us and we hope you'll support us by buying this really important uh, zoo history book. We've learnt a lot from the history of the zoo. We've, we've developed a lot of husbandry practices and developed so many things to help our colleagues and to improve animal husbandry. But we're also looking to the future. And we, our aspiration is to be the best city zoo in the world. And so, from learning from our experiences, we want to go forward. We have a master plan for developing the gardens in Clifton for the next 10 years. We have other plans supporting a wildlife conservation park and also many in situ projects around the world. And so, as well as looking at the history of what we've done here, we are looking to the future as well.